Welcome to St. Ambrose University's Management 320, Human Resource Management. Human Resource Management, or HRM, is a strategic, shared leadership system that can be used to achieve whole organizational objectives. This short video is to provide to you the setup for a practical exercise to review the entire course and to illustrate that HR is a strategic, shared leadership system that can impact an entire organization. You are part of the senior management team at a large company. While one day at a leadership meeting, the boss muses out loud, why don't we do more recruiting of local talent at our local colleges and universities? Uh-oh, the boss must have been at a recent reception or local chamber of commerce meeting and has been listening to local college presidents like Sister Joan again. Initially, the senior managers ignore him as they are hoping the idea will just go away. They know that from reading No's textbook on human resources in chapter eight, that there are wigs for wildly important goals, pigs for pretty important goals, routine for taskings on a regular basis, to-do list, and then every now and then, the good idea fairy will fly in and just as quickly float off to nowhere if you just ignore it and the boss for a little while. Go away, fairy idea. Just fly off. But the human resources manager, being a professional, asks the question that all two-year-old children would ask when being given a rule or task. Did you really mean it? To which the boss replies, yes, I did. Thanks a bunch, HR. The HR manager then politely requests the boss's leadership guidance as follows. What are we doing? Why are we doing it? What's the reason? What's the expected return on investment? How do we know when to stop? How well? What is the priority placed on this new campaign? Wig, wildly important? Pig, pretty important? Or just routine? By when? What are the time gates for accomplishment? And please pick two of these three resource guides. Good, fast, cheap. Which two do you want? The boss thinks for a moment and then finally says, Managers, as networkers and hiring authorities, are to do more recruitment of local talent at our local colleges and universities. The intent is to save personnel dollars for recruitment, recruiter travel, interviewee travel fees, moving and relocation costs of the selectees and their family members, and orientation time and labor, plus build local goodwill. One standard is when at least one third of our new interns and junior managers, plus new key workers, were recruited and hired from the local schools and our global recruitment costs come down. I want this to be an executive level, wildly important goal, a WIG, and incorporated into our monthly management in process reviews. I know this is going to be a major whole organization personnel campaign. This is a shift in emphasis from a global campaign to now include some local effort. That will need to build momentum over the next three years, so I'll give up fast. Therefore, I want it good and I want it cheap. Then the boss adds, so, how are you executives going to implement my guidance? And everyone answers in unison, why, we'll form a Management Human Resources Task Force and study how to implement this new, whole organizational strategy. We'll report back to you soon, boss, with our management policy recommendations for your approval.
Okay, HR management policy experts, over to you. Using the entire human resources system, how are you going to move this good idea fairy to a wildly important goal and then a strategic accomplishment that meets your boss's guidance? Hmm. Time to go to work. In your management HR teams, and given your assigned HR topics on which to focus, what do you recommend to the boss that he approve in order to implement this HR recruitment strategy? Thank you for your kind attention. And now off you go to do your strategic HR policy work. Good luck.